Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After Etc. and welcome back to another Cricut project. Today we are making more drink stirrers. These are really cute little strawberries and a truck bed. I actually just wanted something strawberry themed to go with these new berry bowls with strawberries on them from the dollar store. I'm doing a strawberry themed tablescape. I wanted to marry the reds of the strawberries with the pinks of the dishes I'll be using. So I thought, what better way to do that than with some Cricut, uh, we can pick all the colors. So it'll be completely custom and marry the two things together. I actually go through Cricut Design Space and look at quite a few different strawberries. So we're gonna pop into Cricut Design Space. <laughs> These were balanced, but I guess not balanced well. And I'm going to walk you through all the steps you need to take to make these cute little drink stirrers. They are one of my favorite things to add to a table because you can make them in under an hour and they are completely custom for whatever project you're working on. Let's uh, go into the computer. Well, so once you've opened up Cricut Design Space, we're gonna start by looking for cut files for our little drink toppers. Now you can see that I have already looked for some and I have kind of put together what I want my drink stir topper to look like. I thought this little truck strawberry combination was really cute as opposed to just simply doing a strawberry on its own, but you could easily just do large strawberries and that would also be super cute. In order to find this, I just went to images, and I typed in strawberry. So it's going to bring up so many different options in the Cricut Design Space a library here. And a lot of these under images are going to be your more typical large strawberry. So from here, I decided I actually wanted maybe a bit more of a design file. So I went to projects and searched for strawberry. And these are more involved design files, things that you might use um, to make, you know, a three-dimensional strawberry or a card. Here's a cute one on a shirt. I kept scrolling until I found a really cute, um, ooh, it's not, not wanting to come up. Let's see, I saved under bookmarked. Here we go. I saved these three. So I really liked this little berry bowl. I loved this truck with the strawberries and I really liked this pink uh, card with the teacup. But I thought for drink toppers, you typically wanna do something that has a bit more of a larger shape and less of a involved design. So like this would be really cute, maybe as a cake topper, but I thought it might be a little too many strawberries for a drink stirrer. Instead, I opened up this cut file. You can see that it's a truck and strawberries. You could easily use one large strawberry for a drink stirrer. We're gonna go ahead and replace this. We've already saved it. And this is where I took these files and turned it into the drink stirrer that we're going to use. So. In order to do this, you can use any of those cut files you like, but you want to have several layers. I like to have at least three because that gives you at least the back two layers to sandwich your uh, straw or your drink stirrer with. So grab your object and you're going to make an offset. And then you're going to make a second offset. So for this, we'll have three offsets from here. I added my strawberries into the truck bed. Of course, if you wanted, let's just grab a strawberry. If you just wanted a strawberry drink stir, you don't wanna put it in the truck bed, you could do that as well. So for this strawberry, you'll see that she has three different layers, the strawberry top, the red strawberry, and then just a white background. So what I would have done is this back white background is the main back piece. I would make an offset of this. Perfect. And then I would make a second offset. And now you could put this little cutie right on top of your drink stir and she would be just fine. You could probably even take this back layer off here, make this 
black layer your white and then do a coordinating color in the back so all in all I have already kind of put this together in a combination that I really like and then I have resized them to be three inches wide which is about the max for a drink stirrer at least in my opinion I don't want it to be bigger than my cup so I'm going to go ahead and click make it I'm using my maker three today I am using mostly cardstock, so I'm going to be working on that. Perfect. And so it is going to separate out by colors, and I have assigned colors to everything so that I know which of my cardstocks to put in the machine. But I'm going to up this to six. I want to make six of these little drink stirs, and it is going to populate. There you go, on to each cutting mat individually, six of these projects. And for the strawberries, that's going to be quite a few because <laughs> we're doing two big strawberries and one little strawberry. So there we go. Let's go ahead. The only other thing we could do before we started, if it was simpler, and it might be, let's take a look at these strawberries. The green tops are going to have to stay separate, but we could easily take the reds and the, the back layer and we could um, weld them together. easier if I could ungroup these and they don't seem to want to ungroup. It's okay. I'm just going to go ahead and add them all into one layer here so that we can group them nicely. And you can see that this one is going to have to go back here. There we go. And this is that back red layer. So now I can take the top three layers that are all this bright red color and I can weld them together. You can see when you do that that you do lose some of the definition of this top one. So I think we're going to stick with the three separate strawberries. It means that we will have to individually place these strawberries in our truck bed but I think that's an okay compromise. I was trying to see if I could make it simpler, but I, I think it'll be simple enough. We'll assemble the three strawberries individually and then place them in the truck. So let's go ahead and make six of these. Excellent. Now we do need this top layer of the strawberries to be mirrored because that's the only one we are doing differently. This is going to be glitter cardstock and we'll have to put our glitter cardstock face down. So turn mirror on on that one. The rest of our pieces of cardstock are all 12 by 12 and can all be cut face up. Perfect. So let's go ahead and do the glitter card stock first since it will be the only different one. Go ahead and click card stock here. And then we'll select glitter card stock. For the rest of our pieces, we will select medium card stock 80 pounds. So for this one, glitter card stock. 
everything else will be the same for our glitter cardstock and our regular cardstock. We will select more and we will load a fine point blade into our normal clamp B. So let's go ahead and head over to the Cricut and I will show you how to load all of these. All right, so we are trying to match the strawberries on this super cute little berry bowl. And we're going to be using, I think, pink and kind of sea foamy plates on our table, we'll find out. So I'm trying to match and pair together the reds, the pinks of the plates, and the sea foamy tops of the strawberries into one image in our color palette here. So I have chosen for our materials a card stock. We have three of this, the dark pink, the cream, the sea foam, and a light pink. Then we have our glitter card stock. And last but not least, a sheet of foil poster board, which will add a little bit of glimmer to the strawberries. So I've already added everything to a light grip mat except my glitter card stock. So when you're adding glitter card stock, you'll take your, your light grip mat, which is perfect for card stocks, and we're going to turn it upside down because if we try cutting into that glitter, it will be an uneven surface. Our blade cuts through the back of the glitter card stock much better. So line it up, and now we're going to apply some pressure. Make sure this is bonded all the way across. And now we can load it in. So for everything else, we'll go in order, but we I always like to do my oddball out first since everything else will cut with the same settings of just a standard cardstock. Go ahead and cut this baby first. That way I don't forget to turn it over and use the mirror setting on my Cricut Design Space. So go ahead and load it in. Those little strawberry tops. Strawberries. These have a very tiny little holes. Like I am honestly not even sure if you are gonna be able to see the color behind them. But let's go ahead and take them off. You will notice I did have to switch to a strong grip mat because the light grip mat was not strong enough to hold the uh, glitter cardstock. And let's go ahead and cut the other pieces. All right, y'all, we are done cutting these out. I pulled them all off their cutting board and you can see I did put one together. So I am using my Create a Sticker, which I always use for any little pieces. It just makes it super simple to assemble. So instead of having to put like a glue stick or double-sided tape on the back of these, I ran all the tops of the strawberries through and then assembled them. I did decide that while I put a couple of the rose gold backings on some of the strawberries, this is one that has the backing. 
there. You can hardly see it through those holes and it makes it double thick. So I only did that with two and I went ahead and instead just made three rose gold large strawberries and a few small rose gold strawberries. So you can see in the one we've completed, I have two large red strawberries, glitter strawberries, and one small metallic strawberry. So what we're going to do is I'm gonna show you how to assemble them. The strawberries themselves ran through and I'm going to do the trucks the same exact way. They're just going to be easier to see. So pretend that this pink truck is our, our top, our green leaf, and the, the white cream portion is the actual strawberry. So for the create a sticker, and this is in an ad, I've had this thing since college, I love it. But we're gonna go ahead and put it in with the bottom, the part we want our glue on down, and then we're going to pull it through and it's best if you can do a whole bunch at once because as you can see it does have like a lead on here and so if you do them individually you lose this much sticky for each individual sticker whereas if I just kept feeding them through I could have a whole bunch of trucks in a row but for the sake of this video I'm just going to do one now we're going to peel this off this is the hardest part. <laughs> Perfect. This is going to be sticky because we've got that sticker residue. And now when we peel this off, you can see, see that sticky? That it is a sticker. It's completely sticky on the back. So we can line it up here. Making sure that it is completely you know centered because once it's down it's down once whether it's centered or not we can scoot it a little bit but with how many cutouts are on this piece that would be hard now I could run this through the sticker machine again um, honestly I think I'm going to I didn't on this one. This one I used double-sided tape, but you can see it's not quite sticking. So let's try the sticker machine and then we'll add our strawberries to the back. We'll see which way we prefer. Perfect. Now we're gonna have to be careful with this because we need to add our strawberries before we add our, uh, our dowel and our backing. Go ahead and take it off. And now I like to use tweezers here. And we're just gonna add our strawberries to the back. There we go. It's cute, little strawberries in a truck bed. And now make sure to really make sure they are secure on the back. The further down you put them, the more secure they'll be on the back, but the and with the more sticky they'll get but the less will be sticking up. So now I'm just gonna grab a little bit of double stick tape. And if you don't have a sticker machine, this is what you would do for everything, is just use double stick tape or glue stick or, you know, super sticky glue. And now I'm gonna go ahead and put our towel here. Perfect. I do like to sandwich that with some tape. I just think it helps hold the dowel in place. Didn't need quite such a big piece, but close enough for government work. And now we're going to stick this on our 
hot pink background. And so this is why I was saying that it's easiest if you have at least three layers, because you have your front layer with the cutouts, the background behind that, and then a layer to sandwich your dowel or your straw. You can use a straw as well in between. There we go. Dun, da, da, dun. I think these are super cute. I'm very excited to put them on my table with the little strawberry berry bowls. All right, give me a second, y'all. I've got four more trucks to make. All right. How cute would these be for Christmas with little Christmas trees? So sweet. I love how these turned out. I am definitely going to be putting them on my tablescape with my little strawberry berry bowls. They are so cute. And I, I love making these. I have made pinwheels for 4th of July. I have made mermaid tails for summer. I think just little drink stirs like this. They're easy. I made them in like an hour and they add so much to a table for, you know, not that much. And as a lot of times, you know, I've never had to go out and buy new materials. I bought one pack of these Bambi skewers. I use them every time. And a couple packs of cardstock. I just make different things. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, like, comment, leave me a little message down below. And I will see you in the next video. If you want to check out the tablescape, I will make sure to link that in the description. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Bye.